Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Universal Studios, Florida. It is officially 2024, so I wanted to come out and give you guys a little tour of the park and talk about some of the things I'm excited for in the upcoming year. And then also I've been noticing that Universal has been stepping their game up when it comes to theme park snacks. And I wanted to grab a couple of my favorite snacks to show you. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and have a cozy Universal Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I picked the perfect day to come out to Universal Studios. It is so beautiful out. The temperature's in the 60s, and uh, we're gonna go to both parks. We're gonna go to Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios, but I think we're gonna start here at Universal Studios Florida, and then take uh, the Hogwarts Express maybe over to Islands of Adventure later on. I'm wearing one of the new Shrek Roosevelt shirts on right now. So I wanna see if I can find Shrek or Donkey in the park so I can show them the new shirt. And then also, I'm kind of interested in seeing a lot of characters today. I love going to the Transformers area where they have like the meet and greet with uh, some of the characters from there. And also in the back of the park, they have some other really cool character meet and greets. There's a lot to do in the park. So I feel like we're gonna have a good mix between characters, food, rides, Rides, maybe even a parade or two who knows today is Tuesday so it's not a weekend usually the weekend is crowded and the weekdays seem to be a little bit not so busy uh, but I'm still interested in seeing what the wait times are gonna be like my uh, Express pass with my annual pass doesn't start till 4 p.m. so uh, we got to wait in the regular lines the gang's all here look at this Oh, can I get a pug? Oh, yeah, I love it. The colors fit in really well. Yeah, it's very fancy. Man. Yeah. What's the docket for today? Oh, I'm going to ride some rides, eat some food, and have a kind of like cozy Universal Studios kind of day. Sounds awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah Don't be suspicious. The, have you been in the Five and Dime? No, no. Apparently, they're transforming people into monsters over there. It's the worst time ever, man. Yo, that was so awesome. They are the best. And as you're walking down uh, this main area or heading into Beverly Hills, you can see tons of characters actually just hanging out. You got Chef. Chef. <laughs> oh, look at this. The mystery machine is over there. Hi, Betty Boop. Hi, Sailor. Hope you have a great day. Oh, you too. <laughs> Is that Dora? Dora the Explorer over there? No way! Wow! Right outside the dark room there. With my annual pass, I actually get a express pass every single day I come, but it's only after 4 p.m. So if I wanted to use the express line, I would have to buy a regular express pass for the daytime. And uh, that goes anywhere from $122 to $150. If you pay for the $122 one, uh, you get every ride just once. And then if you do the $150 one, it's all day. Uh, so like, uh, it's still like kind of expensive. I know a lot of people complain about Lightning Lane, uh, that being $30. Uh, but honestly, I'd rather pay $122 and guaranteed to ride every single ride than pay $30 to just maybe not even get on a ride or just get one ride in. You know what I mean? I feel like if you know they can come to like a middle part there, I think it might be better. But this system I think works better than Disney. I'm meeting up with a friend today who is a baseball fan. So I wanted to bring a little uh, fanny pack from Roosevelt. So look, it's the Big League Chew one. Do you remember this gum? I thought that was fancy. But that's why I'm carrying this around in case you see it like this. I don't want you to be Wondering if I got a big bag of Big League Chew in me. <laughs> There's Shrek and Fiona over there. I'm coming back for Shrek and Fiona. And also Doc is over here. Look at that. So at least I know I get to see Shrek uh, in a little bit. 
Universal just announced all of the themed lands for their brand new park that they're building, Epic Universe. And it's so cool because there's going to be five different themed lands. They have a celestial park, which is going to be like the hub and center. And that area actually is going to open up portals to the Super Nintendo World land, the Dark Universe, where they're going to have one of the best dark rides ever. Uh, and then they also have the How to Train Your Dragon. And then the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the Ministry of Magic. How cool is that? That park is going to be amazing and it's going to change the theme park game. But there's still a lot of great things that are changing in this park. So I wanted to walk around today and explain and point out a couple of the ones that I've, uh, I'm a little excited for. Eventually, the DreamWorks land is going to open up. This used to be where Woody's Woodpecker uh, roller coaster was, and then they had Barney over there, but it's going to be turned into like a G uh, DreamWorks themed land where you get to meet all of your favorite characters from a lot of different DreamWorks movies. That's why you also get to meet a lot of characters over here just walking around. The trolls are over there right next to the sign there. Look at that. So, you got a nice new land to look forward to. It's coming along great. Right next to E.T. You can't record on Universal's ride. So any rides that I'm going on today, I'll probably insert like a POV footage from uh, a Universal Studio stock. Like, you know, just a, you know, just so you guys can see what the ride is like. But for the most part, we're just going to hang out at the park and I'm just going to just kind of document and show you what it's like. Just kind of hanging out day to day at the uh, Universal Studios. I feel so fancy the way I move my elbows. <laughs> 20 minute wait for E.T. Well, no, that's not a 20 minute wait. I think that's just a walk on. <sighs> the mystery, the suspense, the adventure. E.T. adventure. You have to get an interplanetary pla passport. Interplanetary. Interplanetary. Interplanetary passport and uh, you have to give them your name so E.T. can talk to you at the end of the ride. Ooh. Botanicus. Thank you. Botanicus. <laughs> My interplanetary passport. I said it right. Interplanetary passport. Welcome home. You go. I love riding E.T. and now we're in the gift shop and they have a really cool photo opportunity and since I bought the My Universal Photo Pass, it's kind of like a year long uh, photo pass. Uh, it's like, I think it's like $180. I'm not too sure how much. I'll find the exact price, but I get to have all these nifty perks like special photo opportunities and one of them's with E.T. in the closet and on the bike. The E.T. store actually has a lot of great merchandise. You have regular E.T. merchandise. Look at little snow globe here. I love it. And then even some Back to the Future merch too. Look at that. The hoverboard sign is pretty cool. All of this is. We're waiting in line because we want to do the E.T. photos. How cool is that? You get in there. It's just like uh, the from the movie. You can see, oh look, there's a Jurassic Park uh, T-Rex there. That's kind of cool. Well, I'm not not exactly like the movies, but Operation Monopoly. 
now that I got my photo with E.T. and we got to ride E.T. I think we're gonna go grab a snack and find a place to get some lunch. Uh, I was thinking maybe Mythos. Mythos, if you haven't heard, has been voted the best theme park restaurant by Theme Park Insider for several years now. And I'm pretty sure it was also the best theme park restaurant in 2023. We'll find out and probably for 2024. Uh, but it's very good food. So, I don't know. That's on island side. So maybe we just might make a walk now and then come back. I love days like this. You kind of just go with the flow and just kind of eat food. <laughs> the most unlikely treat that I've ever had in a theme park that, like, I just, I'm just mind blown on how good it is, is actually here at the Bake My Day. Bake My Day, uh, they have a Rice Krispie treat. And it's just a plain Rice Krispie treat. But for some reason... It's the best Rice Krispie treat I've ever had in my life. So I wanted to come in and grab it real quick. They have a lot of great, like, other, like, things, including, like, banana cakes and stuff. But this Rice Krispie treat down here, plain crispy, it's just so good. Everything else, but this banana cream cheese Swiss roll is really good. The s'more right here. Oh, boy. I confirmed with the team members in there that they do make these Rice Krispie treats fresh every day. But look at this. Like I said, there's nothing special about it. It's just a Rice Krispie treat, but it's just, it's done right. Look at that. It's so good. Trust me. You got to come try it if you come get the Rice Krispie treat. If you're a fanatic like me, you're going to love it. I might dare to say that this might be one of the best Rice Krispie treats I've ever had. If not the best. Like, honestly. It impresses me that much that I would speak so highly of it. I really hope that we get a chance to see Shrek. Eventually, I saw him, but every time I get to go up to him, they cap his line. Like, they have to cut the line off so he can go in for his breaks. And I'm just missing by, like, one minute. So, maybe, hopefully. But until then, I think we might head to Islands of Adventure. Erica, you want to try the Rice Krispie Treat? Absolutely. The best Rice Krispie treat I've ever had. How am I gonna do this? Made fresh in house. I think we're gonna walk over to Islands of Adventure now, see if we can get on the walk up list for Mythos. That's the restaurant I was telling you that's like the best theme park restaurant. If it's not too long of a wait, maybe we'll have lunch there and ride a ride or two, you know? It's only like a two minute walk outside City Walk. You could take the Hogwarts Express, but I'm not gonna do that because my uh, Express Pass probably is until four and the line's most definitely at least a 30 minute wait. So a quick two minute walk, be right in Islands. And now the adventure begins over on Islands of Adventure side. I do want to do Dr. Seuss, maybe the cat in the hat and the Seuss trolley train. Uh, check on Velocicoaster, Hagrid's would be good. Like obviously I think I would want to do everything so we're just going to see what we can do. We're going to just go straight over to Mythos to put our name in on the list. But uh, if we have some time in between maybe I'll cut back over here, ride the cat in the hat. The good old cat in the hat. We'll get some green eggs and ham. Huh. Man, it is such a beautiful day out today. Look at Velocicoaster go. Wow. I could easily spend all day just chilling out here. What is this? A little submarine? When it comes to trying new snacks at Universal, I tend to not do it that often, only because uh, I wait for the Orlando Informer meetup. The Orlando Informer meetup is a special ticket event that you can buy tickets to, and all the food is included in it. I make videos all the time going there. I'm telling you, it's like the best thing ever, because you come to the parks, there's no waits for lines, and all of the food, like if I wanted some of those green eggs and ham tots, I would just walk up and they would just give it to me. Like I wouldn't pay for it. It's all included. And the ticket prices are just about the same exact as like your daytime tickets. So that's why I don't like to try new foods. But I do want to try a restaurant that I have been to and that is Mythos. Here it is, Mythos. The restaurant itself. And there is the old Poseidon's Fury. This attraction closed this year. And the Lost Continent is soon to be speculated getting replaced with something new. 
Oh, and right here is the restaurant. Look, you can see it's got the flag on the outside. Awarded world's best theme park restaurant. Theme park insider. For 2024 too, I bet. This restaurant overall theming is exceptional. The food I think is so good and the desserts are some of the best desserts I've ever had. Now, you know, this sign being on the outside, I really would actually put this up up there with one of the best theme park restaurants. I can actually agree with that. I think the total package value theming and specialties and even the uh, team uh, team members that work here really make this restaurant like so as as amazing as it is and uh, I'm excited to show you guys some of the food the back side of the restaurant has one of the best views of the parks and I always come back here and I like to show it off you get to see Velocicoaster actually taking off. And the best part is when you go upside down on Velocicoaster. Look at that right there. Like, we're right here. And then it's going to come under there. It's going to look so cool. I'm going to get up here so you can see it. Look at that. The castle over there. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? It hasn't been confirmed, but I have seen plenty of like posts and blogs and even videos of people talking about how Zelda will be coming to the Lost Continent. How it's gonna be like a new Nintendo theme, like Zelda themed land. And I can see that it fits in. So hopefully the beloved mythos can actually stay. Uh, one of the cool things is the ride, well the attraction, uh, Poseidon's Fury, uh, the trident from the show is actually now inside Mythos here and they have it displayed on the wall. Uh, so that kind of makes me think this restaurant's here to stay. Maybe, hopefully, uh, but I gotta show you the trident because I love this place. Here is Mythos. It can get a little bit loud in here, but look at how beautiful it is. I love it. They got water down here. And uh, also uh, Poseidon's Trident is over here. They have it on the wall. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Little Easter egg. And I think we're dining outside. Here is a quick look at the menu at Mythos. They've got a lot of lamb. They're known for their baked lamb meatballs and their braised lamb shank. And the prices are not that bad. Like if you want to get their most expensive thing, I think it's that lamb shake at $38, which is, you know, actually a really lower priced menu because most like theme park restaurants, like their highest menu item in my experience is like around 50, maybe $60. So. That's a good uh, sign right there. They also have a uh, Mythos Signature Lamb Burger and a fork and knife and spoon grilled cheese. It's a little bit windy, but we're going to sit on the outside here. Got a nice little view of all of the park. Look at that. This is what I'm paying. Like, this is, like, these are the things I'm showing you why I would feel like this is a top contender for best theme park restaurant. Because look at this. Like I said, you can't beat this view. You can't beat it. You get to see every coaster. Even Velocicoaster. We got the grilled octopus as a starter. Look at that. It actually looks so amazing. And then uh, some calamari. A little fancy calamari. This, the lighting in here is cool, but it's hard to actually show you guys. I like it. You didn't like the sauce? I don't like sauce too much. And I like the ring parts of the calamari. Ooh, is my camera following me again? Oh, this is good. Wow. Very light, very airy. Mm hmm. Try the sauce. Some tapenade. Is it good, Erica? It's refreshing. The it's sauce refreshing. Is like light. Cucumbery. Ah. Mm -hmm. Give me a, give me one of the tentacles. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my Lanta. I don't know if it's going to pick up on it. Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. This is charred perfectly. 
And I also love how I'm eating this and I can hear people riding the roller coaster. I don't know if you can pick it up there or not. But cheers. That's amazing. The appetizers were amazing and now my steak has arrived and I love these carrots. This actually looks really good. It has a nice little red wine reduction there. But I'm excited to dive in. Everything has been exceptional. Exceptionally good. I got my new camera all set up and it just still, every time I like move a little bit, it just, it, it, it kind of trips me out. Isn't that so cool? All right, but here we go. I'm gonna get a little bit of the steak, just a little bit, and then some of the veggies and the potatoes all together. Bada bang. And then look, it even, look at that. Now, oh, oh, oh scoop sea potato. <laughs> I love this little medallion plate. The potatoes are good, the carrots, and then we also got meatballs. My friend Erica got lamb meatballs, and they're pretty good. Delicious, and are they? With polenta, my favorite. Oh, very polenta, very polite. <laughs> polite polenta. <laughs> the desserts here are exceptionally good, like everything else has been, but I, I just don't think I can do it, especially if we want to try something else in the park. I already had a Rice Krispie treat, a filet medallion dinner and an old fashioned, and it's 1 p.m. <laughs> it's 1 p.m. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pace myself here. <laughs> I don't even think I can finish the medallions. The steak was really good. The white wine, the white wine reduction was amazing. But the best thing out of the whole dish was probably the carrots and mashed potatoes. I've been picking at these mashed potatoes. They're so good. Like everything seems like it's like home. Like, like home scratch cooking. Home scratch cooking. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Home scratch cooking. Mythos was amazing. Like I said, I would literally consider that one of the best theme park restaurants out there. Like the overall experience, so good. Uh, and now I think we're gonna make a. We're gonna do a little wrap around. We're gonna do a little wrap around. Go over to Hogsmeade and uh, maybe down through uh, Marvel Superhero Island, and then back on over to uh, Universal Studios side. Just do a complete wrap around, you know? Um, Taylor Swift. It's sad to think that the Lost Continent is leaving, maybe. I like that name. So, what house she you in? Look at how cool this is. Oh, uh, big is. She won't talk to me, she's a slither and I'll just squirt her. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let you do a little magic if you want. This little store here, Old Hallow's Eve Boutique. I love it always in here. It always has great things. A lot of monsters. Oh, it's so the Mardi Gras. Speaking of that, Mardi Gras is coming up soon this year. Beads are bust. Beads are bust. Are you ready for Mardi Gras? Wow. I like it. Beads are bust. This whole store is kind of cool, isn't it? Mardi Gras actually starts, I think, here in just a couple of days. I think February 3rd. Uh, February 3rd. I'm excited. They have a lot. DJ Khaled is coming here. DJ Khaled will be here for Mardi Gras, and then uh, a lot of other big bands and uh, musicians. So now I think we're gonna make it into Hogsmeade. Look at how cool this is. I love coming here every single time. It gives me like the little goosebumps. The train. Ooh. One of the best rides is definitely going to be Hagrid's. It's an 85 minute wait. I wonder if the single rider line is open. Single rider line is open. I'd wait. Sometimes it could be 10 minutes. It could be way less. Hagrid's is such a great ride. It's so fun, especially because it mixes animatronics with roller coasters. I feel like two essential theme park like things, you know? There's not too many like crossbreeds like that, but I hear the new Epic Universe is gonna be amazing. They're, they're constructing the biggest, their best dark ride over at Dark Universe. It looks, so, like I said, <laughs> the things Universal has planned is quite impressive. Look at this.
Jim, don't worry. We're pirates. Sorry, there never was great shakes at Magic. was amazing and now I think we're just gonna hang out here maybe try to wake our uh, make our way into the forbidden journey looks like it's a low wait time 15 minutes it's that on the app uh, but uh, yeah we have a lot I want to do for the day so kind of just touching down here but then making our way back out into the other park that's the goal but you never know now that we're over here we might as well just walk over to Hogsmeade I mean Hogwarts <laughs> Hogs made. That's hogwash. Look at this hog's head. Oh, Fantastic Beast mem uh, merchandise. Where to find them, too? Holy moly. Look at that. There it is. Hi, how are you? Have fun on Hagrid's. <laughs> Yo, look at that castle. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Before we start making our way out of uh, the uh, Hogsmeade area, I think we're going to stop in here at Hogshead, get ourselves uh, maybe a butter beer or a uh, Deathly Hollows drink. We got the Deathly Hollows drink, and because of licensing purposes, I'm going to spill it. But uh, they can't call it that, but it is... Uh, Guinness, Strongbow, and Hogsmeade. And then I also got a little hot butter beer. This is not a great combination. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Like, what am I gonna sip a little butter beer? Oh, it's hot, hot, hot. And then I got a little <laughs> Deadly Hollows drink. Ooh! Well, oh, that just tastes like Guinness. <laughs> that's just the top. <laughs> that's a Guinness, see, that's a, that's a good, oh. I like it. This butter beer is so good, though. I mean, it's not even cold outside. I mean, it's a little chilly, but a hot butter beer, I'll take it on a 90, de uh, 90 degree day. I think I'm gonna take my beer with me. It's getting very busy here in Hogsmeade, so I think we're gonna hop lands now. Look at it, it's very crowded here. Got a bob and weave, bob and weave. How you doing? You having a good day? Nice! <laughs> Look at that! Nothing like walking underneath these archways. Bum bum ba -da -da -da. Look at this Velocicoaster. 35 minute wait. We can get this done, on, especially with a single rider. Velocicoaster coaster is such a great ride. Hagrid's, I like I said, I think a lot of people, uh, I'm all team Hagrid's. Velocicoaster coaster is about the thrill. It has some theming, but this one is, I get scared of riding it. Like, <laughs> it's good though, it's a good scare. There it goes.
Vasa coaster can just take your breath away. I love it. It's just so thrilling. And now uh, we're going to make our way uh, through like the little Jurassic Park or Jurassic World uh, gift shop. This whole area is just so cool. I love the movie Jurassic Park. I like Velocicoaster, but I wish we'd get a little bit more Dino Lands. <laughs> like I want more Jurassic, I want more dinosaurs. I think I'm just gonna keep making my way out of Islands of Adventure. I would stop off and do some of the water rides, but the water rides at Universal, you just can't come back from. You get so beyond soaked that like you just can't dry off. Like this one, oh boy, there is a big award ceremony today and it's called, congratulations, you're a soggy bottom boy. That's literally, when it comes down to here, you get drenched. Here it comes. Done for. I think it's time we head back to Universal Studios side. I wanna go ride the new Minion ride. And then also, if the horror makeup show's going on, I wouldn't mind actually catching that too. There's just so much to do here. Like honestly, I love coming to Universal Studios and I love how we can just do a big lap, you know? You can literally just make a big wrap around between two parks. Something else that's new is the Universal Orlando annual pass holder life. Passholder Lounge open 11 a.m. to 4. Look at this, fancy. Do you show your ID? You'll get your new Mardi Gras magnets, the little round. Ah, well, I get a free lanyard. I'm taking it. I'll take a lanyard. Wow, look at a nice little area you can chill over here. So refreshing. Probably charge up a little bit. They know how to treat their annual pass holders, I tell ya. So many bonus benefits all happening in January. Just gotta scan that little code right there. They even have nice merchandise too. Nice little raincoat. Look at all the foodies and the snacks. I'm telling you, Universal's stepping up their snack game. They're getting on it. They know what they got going for themselves. Look at this, this is proof in the pudding. <laughs> proof in the pretzel. <laughs> Perks of being a pass holder, you get free lanyards. I like it though, at least now I can scan because uh, my express pass is starting soon. So like now I'm gonna be able to use my annual pass at 4 p.m. and I don't have to wait in the long uh, lines anymore. It's so easy to hop from Islands of Adventure back to Universal and now just like that, here we are. Vanderpump Rules. Huh, looks interesting. Get pumped. And why isn't the globe spinning anymore? The, the globe hasn't been spinning for a while. If you guys watch this video and you, you know, come to the parks, let me know if the globe is spinning. Because it's been like that for a while and I miss it. I miss it a lot. Now that I'm back on the Universal Studios side, I'm not even too sure why I needed to come back here. I think my string is flying all over the place being a little stringy uh, but um, I think maybe I'll just walk around I mean I, I don't think I got to spend enough time in here I guess I wanted to get a little bit of a lunch that's why we left and went over to Mythos um, but yeah maybe I'll make my way over to Diagon Alley and over to the uh, New York and Central Park area who knows there's a lot to do over here I just kind of happy to be hanging out on a nice day like today oh. It is I, Optimus next. Prime. Bumblebee's coming, uh oh. Decepticons reported in the area. I must defend. Roll out. Woo! Roll out. Oh, look at that, the Blues Brothers. <laughs> oh. 
Look at that. Man, I'll tell you. I'm glad that we came back over. This is beautiful. I just walked through there and I was like, wow, the Blues Brothers just came by there. Yeah, you know what? I'm getting a pretzel. I'm getting a pretzel. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a nice little cinnamon pretzel. I'm gonna find a nice spot to hang out and uh, maybe uh, eat my pretzel and just chill, relax. It's so cool, there's so many nooks and crannies. Like, what's down here? Come down here, I can eat my pretzel down here and just stand here. Oh, I could go over there. Like, Universal's amazing. Look at this. It's so nice. Like, these aren't, like, unrestricted areas. These are places you can go. You can't go up there, but look, you can come down here. And there's so many back here. I'm just looking for a spot to eat my pretzel. Oh, this reminds me of HHN. I come over hang out here by the barber shop. It's crazy that it's, like, a, a crazy theme park out there. And then we're walking through, like sets and streets where like there's nobody around busy world behind me and look at me I'm just walking to where everything's quiet <laughs> it's like two separate worlds look at this over here am I living in a different universe everyone's going up and down this way this is where it's at I'm hanging out here by the music company. I actually, oh no, I'm going to the barber shop. I'm eating my pretzel on a stoop right here at Universal Studios Orlando at the barber shop. Honestly, that cinnamon sugar pretzel probably wasn't the best idea, but I was in the moment. I was like, you know what? I'm getting a pretzel. And now I feel tired. I feel exhausted. I did, I mean, we did make a full lap, but I really didn't get to show anything off over at Universal. Mardi Gras is coming soon, so I'm probably gonna be doing a video once that opens up. But yeah, I think we're gonna head home. I wanna check in on Gracie, girl, and uh, show you guys uh, our little nightly uh, special with Gracie. This is so crazy, but I got a package from Universal Studios that I just got, I just got home from Universal Studios and I got home and there was literally a box from Universal Studios. How crazy is that, Gracie? What are you doing? What's going on here? You wanna go for a walk and then we can open it up? Yo! That is just actually kind of hysterical. Like I got home from Universal Studios and there's a box from Universal Studios. I literally got, I got pulled up and I'm like, what's that big box? And then I would get up there and I look at the top of the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the mailing address and it says Universal Studios Orlando. And I'm like, yo! No privacy at all in this place. So what are you laying down? Oh, oh, okay. Are we laying down already? All right, I thought you were going to pee. <laughs> Let me take this. Let me have this. What? Oh, what? Oh, you're the best. All right, now it's time to open up the box that Universal sent me. And I am like shocked because I was at Universal Studios today when they announced everything because I don't normally go to the park early, but I was meeting a friend there. So they were making all the announcements and I happened to be at Universal Studios. And then when I got back, there was like this big box waiting for me. And then I started looking through like Instagram and stuff. And I seen a lot of my friends post stuff that they got something from Universal. And I'm like, holy moly, I wish I would have known like, I didn't know I was getting anything or anything like that before I started making this video. And before Universal even announced this stuff, like, I was already at Universal Studios. So this is all just, like, perfect timing. But look at this. They sent me this. They sent this to me. I feel so honored. Like, it's amazing because this is a big deal. This is a brand new theme park coming to Central Florida. A brand new Universal theme park. Look at this. Oh my Lanta. I don't even know. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to switch the camera. <laughs> this is It is heavy. It's got a nice little uh lock, it looks like. Oh. Oh. Wow, this is like one of the fanciest things I think I've ever seen. With sun and oh, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is great. With sun and moon, the stars and time, the chronos spins and worlds align. This is the chronos. This is the, it's a device that actually opens up the portals to other uh, worlds. Like I was talking about Celestial Park in the beginning. Your compass true and stars to chart. Beyond this gate, find gardens green and epic worlds to fill your dreams. I'm afraid of things falling over again. Holy moly. So this is like, I know exactly what this is. This is the entryway to Epic Universe. This is the entryway to Celestial. This is like the tool. It's a tool, the Kronos tool. And this is what opens up the portals to the other worlds. This is so cool. I Thank you, Universal, for sending me this. Does the box open up the top? Like, I... I don't know what to do. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Holy moly. This is amazing. I am so excited. Look at that. Epic Universe 2025. This is so cool. I am so excited. Thank you so much. This is like such a cool thing to be able to show you guys too. Like I got to share this with you. Oh, there's, a, there's something on the back. What is this? There's actually a big note on the back of this little collector postcard that I almost thought fell over and crushed, like whatever was inside. And it says, welcome to the beginning of all that is to come. Your journey to Epic begins now. Inside is your exclusive collector edition of Kronos. While it may appear to the untrained eye as a tower, marking the entrance to the world's most anticipated new theme park, it is actually a portal to the breathtaking new worlds of Universal's Epic Universe. Your personal Kronos contains a medallion making your first destination Celestial Park, an imaginative world of lush living guardians nested along shimmering waters. Here, stunning architect inspired by astronomical and mytho mythological <laughs> I'm sorry elements surrounds an area of simple these are very fancy words uh, thrills to the senses in the months to come you will receive new medallions that reveal other worlds for you to explore your chronos is designed to hold each one but for now Keep an eye to the stars for what the future may hold. Instructions for accessing your chronos can be found here. This is so amazing. So they're going to be sending me medallions to put in here. They sent me the first medallion, which is for the one themed land, Celestial Park. Then they're going to send me all of these medallions to actually make uh, the Kronos portal work and uh, transport me to uh, different worlds. This is, I'm, I'm, sh I'm shocked. I, this is amazing. Honestly, this is like the coolest thing. I will keep you guys posted as we uh, get more medallions. And uh, yeah, this is, I'm honestly like, I couldn't have asked for a better way to end a video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.